Hello, my name is Hannah, and today we're building an Apocalypse Western Saloon store, which that's just a lot of store words, but that's okay. Um, I'm not exactly sure what a saloon is. I know everybody, like, it's a Western saloon, but the Google definition is just, like, building used for generic purposes, so I felt like putting this word store in there, because it's kind of like a grocery store, kind of, but there's just a bunch of stuff everywhere. It, it used to be like a grocery store, I guess, but, like, now it's just got a bunch of stuff literally everywhere and a bunch of trash and stuff and you'll see um in you know if you scroll through my you know videos that i've made you will just see a bunch of like times where i will just get into this phase where i make exclusively apocalypse things like two or three videos and then stop in which i don't really know why that is um it's probably because almost half of the media i consume is apocalypse or like an end of the world kind of stuff which is kind of weird I should probably figure that one out, but it's kind of weird, but also that's kind of tied to like, that's also what I like write about or like what I read about sometimes, and so it's a bunch of that stuff. And so this build was basically inspired by a singular post I saw on Pinterest like a good four months ago, but I thought about it again and I was like, I want to do this. And it was basically just like a, sh like a, I'd say it probably was like a gas station. So it's a little bit different, but it was like an aisle of the gas station where they have like all the food and stuff like that. And it was just like all over the floor and all like open and like thrown about and stuff like that. And I thought it looked like, I don't know if cool is the right word for that, but I thought it was like inspirational. And so I wanted to build something kind of like that. And so you'll see that it's just got like a bunch of like big puddles and like waste stuff and then like boxes everywhere and then a bunch of trash everywhere and it's really dirty and there's just a bunch of stuff everywhere and so you'll see me like mess with the outside of the actual building like a ton because I did not know what I was going to try and do with it. I was trying to do like that boarded up look. It didn't work in the slightest like it looks so ugly so I was like maybe not and so I redid that and I tried to make like the outside of it as like western-y looking because like that's what it was normally look like like before the apocalypse or before the, like the world ended or whatever you're going with for the build and so I was trying to keep that and still like make it look like really run down and stuff and so I, I got rid of like all of like the metal touches and stuff and I basically do a lot of the outside and then redo the building portion of it because I don't I'm not really good at making like buildings that are not houses and so I was really struggling with that this is not really a store or like not, it's not a house but it's also like not really like a public area it's just kind of like a piece of art kind of I guess if that's what you want to call it it's kind of like art and so it's not really anything but I only ever make this kind of style of just like this and so I was just kind of trashing it put in a bunch of debug stuff everywhere so there's a bunch of tiles there's a fridge I don't know where the fridge came from you're kind of like on the side of a river next to some quarries and like it's just like surrounded by rocks so I don't know where the fridge came from but that's not important and so here you can see me um kind of redoing the area and being like maybe this is not right let's try something else and this is when it goes like western saloon kind of thing which doesn't really fit with evergreen harbor because it's more of like a modern or really industrial stuff but i felt like it would look kind of normal for like an apocalypse because i feel like most apocalyptic looking things are in like western small towns and i don't that's just kind of weird that is kind of weird i've never noticed that I guess I'm just kind of putting it together in my head, but like it's always just like this that I see So I guess that's just kind of what I associate with it I've never seen like a modern house that's been like infested by zombies Which is kind of weird which you know It's kind of cool to like think about like how everyone associates like a s certain like style of house and like Buildings and stuff with like zombies, so I don't know But I am just rambling about this now So I'm going to move on to some of the things that I've done this week The first thing is that it is 6 p.m. And I do not enjoy it, filming voiceovers after like 4 p.m. because I cannot talk and I also have been talking today and so my voice already hurts but I was like you know what would be fun right now voiceovers while I'm in pain and so it's okay but I wanted to do these and so I'm gonna do like two-ish right now but I am struggling and it is late and I'm fairly positive I'm getting a cold which is not good and so you know trying to work this the whole thing out and I am really hoping that I am not going to get a cold because the last time I got like an actual like cold I had to like stop posting like voiceovers for like two weeks and that just was not fun and so I'm trying not to do that also just colds suck in general so 
trying not to, but I'm fairly positive that the outdoors spending time that I've been doing in the last couple days, kind of weekish, is really gonna give me a cold, so we'll see. However, that's fine, and so I'm just going to try and do this without hurting my voice too badly, but I want to do this and my voice said no, so it's all good. But moving on to the actual things that I've done this week, the first thing is that I am making a children's book in um, zoology, and I was talking, I don't know to who, but to somebody, and I was just like, anytime my, my teachers like run out of things to do, they're just like, project, project, and then they're just like, children's book. And I feel like it's like their last resort, like anytime they're running out of ideas at the end of the year, it's just children's book. Like I made two, I think two last year, and then I made like one earlier this year, like at the end of that last semester, and then I made one now, so I feel like it's just always like at the end, they're just like children's book. And like, this is the only time that it has been actually like shown to actual children. We're trying to impress my zoology teacher's like five-year-old son with ours. I don't know if that's actually how they're graded, or if she's just like gonna show her son like the books, I don't know. But this is like the first time one of my books um, is getting shown to a child and I honestly think he's not gonna like it because a majority of the things that I write that are not for school are not targeted towards children, I guess. I don't really know. But like, it's just kind of weird. And also I just kind of suck at writing stories. And so that's also bad. And also it's like about a damselfly because we picked um, zoology is about, you know, animals and stuff. So we picked um, orders, I think or it might have been phylums to be fair, I don't really remember. And we really have not learned about that in the slightest, so I'm not really sure, but I'm fairly positive we picked orders in the phylum that we're learning about. And so I picked um, one that had the dragonflies and like damselflies. And I was gonna do dragonflies because I feel like that's easier, but also like damselflies, I thought it was kind of funny because like I was doing like a play on like with the damsel kind of thing. And so my story is a damselfly trying to find love and I thought that was really funny. So that is what my story is about. So I spent a good proportion of time this week um, just working on that because first I had to write it and as I said, I suck at writing stories, especially children's stories. And so I was working on that. And also I cannot, you know, draw like artistic level or like artist level draw. Um, I can like normal person draw and so it's all good but like coloring is really fun for me so I did a lot of that and so it's really fun it's really cute and my damselfly is has found love so it's all good and um I I hope the the kid likes it but to be fair I don't know and I honestly don't think I want to know because like children are kind of harsh with their opinions so it'll be okay but other than that, this week I got my honor roll like certificate, I guess it is. I don't really know. I wouldn't consider it a certificate as it is printed on printer paper. Um, my middle school honor roll thing was so much better quality. Like it's like, it's not like, you know, the most beautiful quality paper ever, but it's like heavier quality paper. This is like printer paper that they printed something on, which I understand that they need to make like a thousand of them per year like twice a year I guess and so it's probably expensive to do that but like it's honor roll stuff like you could try a little harder but I don't know but it's really cool still and I've gotten honor roll every year in or well every semester I've only been in high school for two years but but four semesters and so I've got the um, papers now however I'm fairly positive I'm missing one of the certificates so you know, that's okay. But I also got a letter, which is really fun because I got honor roll with highest distinction and my GPA currently weighted is a 4.4, which is um, really fun and also understandable with the amount of stress that I am under right now. Um, I hadn't really checked my GPA until recently and I was like, oh, well that's good. And so um, I got a letter, which is like an academic letter, which is like the stuff that you put on letterman jackets. Um, I didn't know that there was stuff for academic stuff, and so I was not expecting that. So when I went to the counselor's office to pick it up, I was just like, oh, when they handed me one of them, because I felt like it was just like a sports thing, because I, like, I know, like, the band kids and, like, 
a cheerleader does it too, but like, um, I was fully not expecting to get one, and so now I have to go buy a letterman jacket. Well, I don't have to. I'm going to go buy a letterman jacket because I feel like it'd be fun to put one on there, and then also I don't have to wait until senior year to get a letterman jacket to put a letter on it. And so I think that's pretty cool, and I'm really excited because it looks really cool, and so I'm excited. My very first letter, and it only took me a bunch of really hard classes to get one, so that's really fun. But to be fair, that compared to four years of cheerleading and get one, you know, I guess it's about the same, but it is really difficult to get an academic letter, so I'm very excited, and I'm very happy, and I guess that is about it, so... I'm probably going to end the video right about here, so um, subscribe if you did like today's video or if you want to see more like this, but it is almost screenshots time, so I post four videos a week so you can watch another video next time. Bye!